Season 2, Episode 23. Hey. Good day, humans on Earth. This is Topher Gray along with... Iowa Rockwell. And this is the Stupid Box Podcast. Where we talk about thinking outside the box of the box you are thinking outside of. I'll let you think about it. What's up? What's happening, man? What's happening, man? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> that took a while. Yeah. That took a while to get good. right. That took a while to get right. It's all good. I'm not exposing any secrets either. Nah, for the audience, nah, man. man. Everything was smooth. I don't even understand what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, uh, episode 23. 23, round man. Round of applause. That Jordan episode, man. That Jordan episode, man. This, 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 yeah, Jordan episode, man. <laughs> it has and, nothing uh, to do about Jordan. Yeah, I want to get this out the way real quick, though. I do want to thank the listeners, man, for like, especially like the hardcore listeners that like tune in every season week. Season two, man. Yeah, season b- two, big ups man. to you guys, you. man. Big thank ups to you guys. Yeah, a lot of shares, a lot of, uh, a lot of posts, a lot of social media love, a lot of yeah. people listening. Yeah. So that, that's, been, that's been real nice. It's been know. beautiful. It's been beautiful. I need water. Hold on. Feels, feels good to be back here consistently, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like we talked about it last time, I was like, "Ah, oh, it's been so long." So I was like, "Oh yeah, this is just to get back into the schedule, kind of." You know, yeah. Some schedules, schedules are good. Some, you know, sometimes you want to be carefree and random. Scheduling, yeah. scheduling is 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 crazy to me lately. Like yeah. to, to just the concept of it. Like I got a schedule now. Like yeah, I never, yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah, yeah, living yeah. off that. It was just, I was just free You're just doing what you needed yeah, to do. Now and it's like whatever time you got to do. I'm scheduling guests. I'm scheduling everything. <laughs> Everything's like one schedule. It's turned into a professional right in front of me, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 and and it that's what it is now. Yeah, and, man. and and after the baby's born, that's that's the reality of it. Everything yeah, has to be on a schedule. That's going to get even heavier. Ah, uh, yeah, and, and and it won't be on your schedule either. That's the crazy part. Yeah, yeah, and big ups to uh, Video Dave, man. Last week, man. We, yeah, yeah, man. We had him. We had him last week, man, and that was that was interesting talking about the secret of life. Yeah, yeah, man. He's out. He's out back in L.A. He's, he's already gone, man. He's gone. That he's quick? gone to New Inch just like that. He's that quick. God, <laughs> man. The guy doesn't. The guy doesn't he stay doesn't in one stop, spot, man. man. Yeah, that's his thing. Yeah, but I mean, it, it was good to get like insight on how that process works. Like, he's just like, "Yo, I'm just working. That, that's why I'm doing it." You yeah, know? yeah, bouncing around which, everywhere. Which, which is and, a bit, which a good. I had a better understanding. But he, since he does freelance work, that's always nice because he can be who he wants to be at all times. Yeah, in a sense, you know, what I'm saying you got to cater sometimes and, and play the play the game, play the you know, you're at work and stuff. But like, like you and I work work jobs nine to fives or, or you know yeah. eight hour days yeah. so we have to play that politics mm. in the workplace game and like we gotta politics we in gotta, the workplace you know we gotta walk on shelves sometimes and then express ourselves when we need to and like uh, you Rewind know mind that man we yeah like, man politics in the workplace man. yeah 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 man it's <laughs> So even though we're not working nine to five, we're consi- we're considered we're nine considered. to fivers, we're, you know, right? We're, we're it, forty hours a week clocking in for somebody else. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we we uh, you know the goals. Do you, do you the deal goals with that shit? That. Do you deal with that fucking politics shit? Do I? I mean, I I, I work, so I deal with it because we all deal with it if we're working. You can't not you part- deal with okay, it. Okay, right? do you so, participate in it? Um. Yeah, I I just how I like to put it. Is I like to just figure out how the game's being played, and let me know the rules, and then I'll, I'll adapt and I'll be fine. Don't worry about me after that. Don't change the rules on me. Don't just you know what I'm saying. Like if that makes sense. So at work, I don't get caught up into the politics because no, because you know where I'm at. There's there's not much advancement in a sense. It's like it's weird to say, but it's a department where it's like okay. There's nowhere else to go unless you become the boss, and the boss isn't leaving. So it's it's that kind of spot. It, you know? It's it's exactly so where it's, I work. Yeah, so it's, it's like exactly you know, where I work. I feel why, like we why work would in I the same give, place. Why would I exert so much when when there's no? It, it's a different kind of politics. I'm not I'm not putting myself in a position to be better, which is what happens at, in workplaces and offices, especially. Yeah, you know, you're you're politicking because you want to keep advancing yourself. So you don't deal with like customers. I deal with. Uh, I deal with cut. We don't. They're not customers, because I work at a school. 
You know what I'm saying? So, but we deal with professors, we deal with students, so we deal with people. It's not like at the hotel where there are guests or their customers. So there are tenants, there you know, there yeah. are students or professors. That but that's who we deal with. So, but do you you don't deal with customers, do you? Uh, not customers. I mean, we do deal with a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, you know what? Would I say customers? I deal with a lot of people. Yeah, man. see, I deal with people, but not customers. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Do we have no, no, not customers? Other other coworkers that we would, you know, I work in it for, you know, I'm not even gonna say it, but it's a lot of people. <laughs> right, right. Can't, it's a lot of can't be out here exposing you know, jobs. I'm not, man. I'm not exposing my job, man. This is my job, by <laughs> right, the way. I'm right. a, I'm a professional so podcaster. Yeah, but I did. It's a lot of fucking politicking, man. What's the worst? Uh, like, what's what's the worst p- part of it? You know about I mean? politicking? Like, because you see it happening, right? And unless you get involved sometimes I, and you just have to... I think I think it's it's being cordial with people you don't really give a fuck about. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. huge, man. That's huge. Yeah. And notice I that's said cordial. Uh, cordial. You, you just got to interact. Just be and, amicable, man. Just be amicable. Yeah. And that... Uh, you know, that and I, there doesn't have to be mutual respect on any level. We're just amical because we both and work, I, man. <laughs> we both work, that, and that's, that's what it is. That's you know? that's the worst, man. And De- I'm an adult. Dealing, and I, I need my job, and you're an adult. You need your job. <laughs> dealing with other people's stupidity, it's is it drives me fucking bananas. I agree. Yeah, I agree, and then I and agree. then to you know, and I'm talking on all angles from management to so, coworkers. I mean, dealing with so just okay. So where where you're at right now? Are you management level? Are you uh, are you under management? Are you mid man? Like where I'm, would you classify? I, I'm gonna your say position? under. I'm gonna say under. Are you mid management? Do you have? Are you a boss of anybody? Yeah. Okay, so you're you're middle management then. Yeah, but I still got a I still got to listen to somebody else. Of course. Yeah. Because you're not at the top, but you're middle management. Yeah. So so the politicking would be me just just because so, I don't care. Mm-hmm. About the place, I agree to stupidity. <laughs> if that makes sense, you know, like I'm like, uh, I try not yeah. to do that because I'm not going to set myself up for failure. Like, no, you, you, she, unknown is <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, all right, you think that's all right? Because a lot of people know that's not me, right? They know how I move. So I'm like, look, if it was me, this is what I would be doing, but this is. The, the situation's different. And, but just to not sit there and say, no, we should, we sh- no, nah, I got a better, nah, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, so no. That, I'm, that, I'm, that part of politicking I, is, is weird to me. Yeah, that I feel you. Because a lot of times I'm like, eh, if this is how they want it done, this is dumb, but we'll do it because that's what they asked us to do. And when someone else looks at it like, this is dumb, like, hey, that's what this guy asked me to do. Like, I <laughs> <Yeah>. just did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah. Just, just, ah, oh, it, it's, it's the worst. You know, yeah, d- dealing with stupidity in the workplace is, is bad. You know, it, it's just, but it, it's like you said, it's that sense of like if you you just don't care sometimes enough to. Yeah, I'm that guy. I don't, I, I, don't I don't care. So I'm just like, all right, let, let's 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 do it. Eight and skate. Yeah, let, let's <laughs> go ahead and run with it. But you know that kind of stuff that. I just don't like it. But are it. there people like at your job who really take pride in what they do and and, and not because it's their work? Because I have a great work work ethic. I don't want to sound like I got a bad work ethic. Uh, work ethic. Me out too. Here. Me too. I'm, um, my I have, it's incredible. I, I and hope, if I'm dedicated, it's it's incredible. Yeah, because I you hold your name. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the job. It has nothing it has to, to do, do with, with the job. You. It's my name, so I'm still going to get the job done. No matter where you're no, at. No matter where I'm at. Yeah. It's just how much above what I. You know, like, oh, your name, you could just protect your name, or you can make your name glow and shine. Certain jobs, you're like, yeah, I'm just going to protect my name, because I don't care enough here. Certain jobs, ooh, I, I like so, this, so, I enjoy so, what I'm doing. So protecting would be like, I, I'm going to do all this dumb shit you told me to do. Do exactly what you asked me, I'm going to always do it right, I'm not going to be, all, everything, you're not, you're not going to have anything bad to say about me. The I'm just not going to care to, anymore. To glow and shine would just say... No, we're doing it this way because this is the better option, and I care about this company. Or, right? or yeah, yeah, or doing more. Like you're you're invested more in everything. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's I've had jobs where I've been at both. Okay. Where, I, where I've cared more. You know, even because I've had an attachment to the job. Like, do you uh, do you do you have uh, what do they call that shit? Water cooler talks. Do you guys. Uh, 
in we got elevator like, talks. Yeah. Kind of, you know, yeah. We, we always, I always see guys and stuff. And they see coworkers waiting for the elevator. So yeah. got elevator talks. <laughs> so but do, you, do you have like those work conversations about work a lot? So, nah, uh, well, I work, with, I work with one person. So it's different for me. Okay. I work with one person, and then we walk around the campus, and we see other people working, and we'll talk to them with the elevators, but never, like, real prolonged conversation. Have you done it? Because I'm pretty sure you worked with people before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you always had, like, convers. I mean, it, it, there's a certain sentiment, right? I got a good feel of the room. So yeah. I, I got to understand. Dude, I had this, this weird class yesterday at work. It was called... Uh, Unconscious bias or vice versa bias, unconscious class. It's like a little sounds like something Michael Scott would hold in the conference room, fuck, man. man. <laughs> you should have seen this dude. This dude was a character. He walks in, right? Wait, wait, nah. Let me let me let me rewind this. <laughs> so we get to the class early. You know, she sent us in groups, right? It was funny shit. The guy doesn't walk in. Okay. He dances and starts doing all kind of animated shit when he walks in. So much fucking energy. The guy's like 5'2", right? <laughs> so you know how it looks already, right? Uh, uh, and he was doing weird shit. He was just like trying to... It felt like a, a cheap old stand-up comedian. Okay. But I, I could tell where he was going. He, he did like his job, you know? So he's, you know, he, we're... we're I don't like taking class, and this is this happens a lot in my spot. I don't like taking classes about things that, that should already be applied in the human brain. Okay. You should uh, have common sense. Yeah, but you, you know. And then this is my yeah. thing. If you have <laughs> you to be should. reminded about this, there should be no class. Like, why is there a class of me? Because re- if I'm reminding you this, about this, you're dude. not. Have you ever said, have you ever, or at least. These are the people that live inside the box, man. <laughs> Stupid box. Because I, I never, I never been to a class. Because I go to a lot of these, you know, where I go, man, this person changed after this class. Never. Yeah, I've. I've uh, that person's always going to be like. Luckily, that. I haven't had to sit through many of those like quote unquote cultural oh, diversity classes and fucking these, work I, politics. And yeah, man. I haven't. This guy's telling us all these things that I'm like, you guys don't know see, this. Like, he's, so, he's explained to us what bias means. So right, yeah, it's, see, that's crazy. Like right now, the most meetings I ever have at work are like emergency meetings where Get we just go over like our emergency Get evacuation plan. Dude. In case this happens, this is what you do. Like, oh, okay, thanks for uh, that reminder because that's just this technical is, stuff. I, I don't, shit, I don't deal with that. Like, I don't deal oh with that at work. God. That would drive me crazy. That, that's why I have that this would drive podcast. Me crazy. That sounds like this cubicle life, man. I was just talking to my boy the other day. I told him, man, I-, I vowed to myself I would never work in a cubicle again. And I was just about to ask you, you never worked in one? Oh, I've worked in plenty. Oh, I've and never. the last one was the last one. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I've I ain't never, going back, I've never, man. I never did the cubicle life, oh, ever. Oh, my God. I, my mom has. I visit my mom. I know people. My man. wife does, but I've never. Tell us, I, I just cruise. Man, I've had so many cubicle jobs, and yeah. I've made good money, you know what I'm saying? Because like, a couple of them were sales, and I made great yeah, money, yeah. but I ain't going back. No, I ain't going back. <laughs> no, uh-uh. I can't do it. It's just a different style of work that I. It's I've, too I've been much. There's it. too much fakeness in that in that life, you know. I, from and from my taste, I've been around it, and it's like nah. I've been around it. Uh, from what what I do now to to the cubicle, it's not that different, except that we're not in cubicles. That yeah, you know. It, that, yeah, so that, that's like that style of job has some of the most extreme politics. Like hotels have a lot of politics, also. Yeah, my mom. Look, I, I visit these cubicle place. My mom worked, Man, and I would go I have lunch. I'll meet her up. Shout I, out to I, mom's. I, she I, still does it? No, 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 no. She don't do it anymore. Okay. But you know, I, I I visit at least at her job. Like I've been to, I did uh some some work with my aunt. You know, at the warehouse. But upstairs was the cubicle, so I would just hang out in her cubicle a lot, and I know how it works. Yeah. Wait, Hold on. I can't go. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about it. I'm like this. You can't get tied up. You can't get tied up, man. I tell I tell my wife that shit because she's always like, "Work this, work that." I'm like, treat that shit like your part time job, man. You have Just to. You can't treat don't. work like it's your life. And then and, and, unless unless it is. So and then, and then is, I tell it, and then that's when this comes back up. Uh, work politic and yeah, we don't like it, but we know how to do it. 
to where it doesn't aff- like I'm like learn how to work politics. You have like, to learn how to do it to so then it doesn't shit. affect you. Because I don't get affected by the stuff that happens at work yeah. as as much or nearly as much as other people at work because I just have a better understanding of how the politics go around here. So it's like, well, why is it? I already know why. If this, you this, know, this if like, you know, it's dumb, and you know, like, yeah. like she has like issues with her boss and shit. And I'm like, why? Because uh, she does this. I'm like, who gives? It? Like, you're in there, do what she says. You know what I'm saying? And get the fuck out. You know? Yeah, like just le- exactly. And then just and then know how she at, is. At if, the end it, of the day, know leave. how she is. Like I know, like like study that. Like if you feel like yo, I I, I shouldn't do this because she'll have a problem. You, like you should know this stuff. Right. You know, don't do it. Yeah. That's called work politic. You got to understand the workplace. You got to understand everything. Yeah, you got to politic. You got to learn how to navigate. Yeah, you just got to yeah, learn how to yeah. navigate. Yeah, so you know she's 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 having issues. So I'm just I'm I'm trying to explain to her about that. Like it's I, I, not, I try to convince. Yeah, like after your eight hours are done. How about this? How do you feel? But I, can, I have a job. I can leave after eight, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. Because it's to me, it's a it's a, it's a way of saying stuff. To an employee To where you can get offended And can't yeah. By their delivery So I guess what I'm saying is If I had a boss And she always talked like Real aggressive And mm-hmm. real Like Would you speak up? If, uh, if If the boss was approaching me that way? Yeah well, uh, cause, Cause this is This is some things I have Where I'm like I, that's just how she talks to everybody, and that's just how she talks. So, is it worth me always checking her because she's talking like she's just? It, it depends how she's talking. Because sometimes for me, it might be like you can treat everyone how you want to. I'm gonna let you know you're gonna treat me this way, and I'm yeah. still gonna do my job just as. But that's part of that amicable. Like we don't have to be friends. We don't have to like each other. You're gonna respect me. I'll respect yeah. you. Yeah. If everyone else is cool with the way you talk to them, that's yeah. fine. I will not, I'm not fighting for everybody. I'm just saying, you know, a one-on-one, you can't come at me that way. So it's it's a pers- it's a personal preference. Thing. Yeah, it's a personal preference. But I would I wouldn't, you know, if everyone else is cool, that you know, we're, we're all adults in the room. If you guys, you know, if, if everyone's cool, me to talk to a certain yeah. way, and I'm not, and, and that that could and, be- and then and then you and then not to cut you off, but you you play it off like like in a sense like how how good do I have it at the current moment? So is it worth speaking up and ruffling feathers? And then it's like, oh well, then all right. And then, well, next week it's like, well, damn, I got this much more to do. Oh, this dude's getting me back, you know. So it's it's you, you it's the politics you play. Like, is it worth me saying it? Yeah. But at some point, it, for me, it just it's always worth saying it. When is the key though? When yeah. do you say it? You don't jump right down and say it right away. Like, cause I do it with everybody. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll sit back. But when I need to speak, I'm gonna make my words very powerful because I don't use them often. Yeah. But when I use them, you're gonna realize why I use them and why I saved them. That's how I do it at my job. Yeah. So they're like, damn. Okay. It, it, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny because I'm I'm a, I'm a dude that that I, I'm. You can't cry wolf. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't pay I, like I don't care so much about like people on on and their agenda to where I, I I put a complete block. So sometimes I can't be naive to where somebody be like, you let them talk to you like that, and I'm like. I didn't even hear him talk. I'm that guy, you know? But if I do notice, I will say something. Right. But I, I usually have a lot of shit tuned out and be like, all right, I'm in here, got to do what I got to do, and I'm out. You know, I block a lot of stupid shit. That's what I'm trying to teach you, too. Like, the art of just ignoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to. Like, I mean, but you have to... It's either that or you're going to keep bumping heads. Because like, I we see spend, my... We spend, the average person spends so much time at work in their life, right? Yeah. Eight hours a day for, you know, five days, six days a week yeah. since they were, what, 17, 18 years old. Like, 50 years of your life you're doing this. Why yeah. are you going to waste the time that you're off of work worrying about work? You're already spending too much time there. Yeah. Why yeah. waste your own time worrying about work? It doesn't, yeah. make, it doesn't make sense to me. Pick, get a hobby, relax, do nothing. Don't worry about work. Don't worry about work. Don't worry about work. It, it just... Audience, don't worry about work, man. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're working for somebody else, and I'm you're not, not, you know, I'm working for somebody else, yeah. and and you know what? Back to this cubicle thing. Uh, if the audience, you guys are listening, and anybody works at cubicles, feel free to listen and listen to the pod. Yeah, man. I, In your cubicles, man. 
That's uh, that's something I would have done because I had music going when I was in my cubicles a lot of yeah, times. And yeah, my, I had one in my headphone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried. That's what I tried. This to was do. before the Air- AirPods, so this was bogus with the cord hanging down. I'm like, look, I'm out here, man. Hey, man, don't don't cord shame, man. There's a I'm lot of people here. out here with cords, man. Hey, I, I'm not I, knocking the cords, but I'm just I, I saying it, it was man. a given because people it. could do it now and sneak. So I'm not saying like I wasn't sneaking it. It no. was the, it was back in the day when it was always obvious. No, no, check this out. No, no core shaming. No core no, shaming. No core. Right. Now, let me ask you this: Is there anything you suck at that you know when it comes up to work politics? Like, damn, I need to get better at this. Uh, at work politics, I'm, I'm sure there is. Sometimes it's just on my face. You know what I'm saying? I might not say anything, but you know what you know yeah. what the hell I, you know what the hell I mean, and you know what I'm feeling. And sometimes it's intentional. But other times it's just like I, you know, I, yeah. say something crazy. I'm just gonna look at you and like, oh, shit, not gonna yeah. say nothing. Or that that might be if that makes sense. Yeah, you know, you know what I suck at uh, remembering names. I mean, that, uh, and I'm bad. Yeah, uh, it, for co- if it's coworkers, over time I'll remember. No, not me. Yeah. Over time, if it's coworkers and people I've seen for yeah. year, you know, a couple of years now, dude, I work with some people. Unless for I like, never knew, then it's like, oh, I just don't know your name, man. Fuck it. No, yeah, that's 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 what, that's uh, one thing. Like remembering names. Oh, I'm bad. That'll, They're like, yo, you've been here this long, and and you don't know this person. You talk to this person. I'm like, yeah, but I never know his name. That's how. That's my work <laughs> politicking. That's an example that's, that's of how what, it sucks. Yeah. Am I being fake? I don't know. That's up for you guys to decide, but. It's, it's, it's just politic to me. Check this incident out. <laughs> just, I'm going to show you how bad I am with this shit. I'm in a parking lot, right? I'm chilling. And this guy that I haven't seen in a while walks up, but I didn't think none of it. Okay. Uh, he starts talking to me. I can barely understand shit he says. He has a heavy accent, so he's just rambling. And usually, to not make people feel bad, I'll be like, uh-huh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Go along you know, with him, just, just go along with it, yeah. So... He was, you know, I can understand some of the stuff he was saying, like the keywords. So he was telling me that, you know, he was happy to be back. Okay. And, uh, you know. So he was expecting a. I didn't know he was gone. So I had to play along with this shit, man. Uh, how, how. He was how gone for a year. How, <laughs> I mean. We're having a conversation and I'm, and I'm playing well, along. Like, so, I mean, you know, did you like that? Like. Where like I'm like, well, we're happy to have we're happy to have you back, man. You know, it's just this is and now every time he sees me, it's this weird kind of like conversation where I'm like, I'm your back. You know, it's just like oh, I never man. knew he left. How closely did you work with him? I talked to him quite quite because he's one of those guys. If he sees you, he's just gonna, he's talk. gonna talk, and especially if he likes you, he's just gonna. Right. And, and then that's when the politics where you got to sit there and be All like, right. yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah, and they're just going is, off is about work okay. and. Uh, I want to say this to a lot of the people that I talk to. Hey, look, man, I don't give a fuck about this place. I'm just here to do my eight hours and I'm out. But you can't say that to everybody in there. I say it to a, 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 a few people at my job. Me too, but not I, everybody. You can't. No, you, you can't say it to everybody. And that's that's. But you gotta. Yeah, you gotta understand who's who has a sucks, similar man. way of thinking. You hey, know what shout mean? out to corporate America, man. Shout out to hey. Yeah, it, it's it's a tough thing, man. But somebody's got to do it. Unfortunately, yeah. So, so if, if you guys need help with like politics and at work, I'm a professional at that. I'm shit. good at it, you know, because I've been a manager. I, I've I've done the lowest. I've I've done hot. So yeah. it's like, oh yeah, I've understood things from a lot of different perspectives. Which is why when I'm at work now, it's like this shit's dumb. Like I know it's dumb. It's stupid as fuck. I, I could do this better. Then it's not that hard. But if this is how you want to do it, I'll just you know I'll get it done. You have to read the room yeah. at work. That's what I would say is your number one key, right? Yeah. yeah because you, if you can't read the room, you can't politic correctly. We should have that. You have to be no, able to we, read the we room We should have properly. a read the room class. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's yeah. It's a good seminar, man. When this, when this pot class fucking blows up, we're going to have a read the room class. That's that's key in life. That's key in life. That's you how you You can read the room. Move. You can navigate the room and go where you want to go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, we're going to be teaching that class at 10K on IG. Yeah, (laughs) man. 10K on IG. Then you'll get like one of those classes because that I could give you a deep dive and just you'll be like, man, 
that makes so much sense and it makes life so much easier man it does it, does. it really does it does man you it know. makes life a lot fucking easier man you just have to you just have to learn you just gotta read the learn room the role, you know read the room learn the rules play the game it's, yeah. it's simple yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, I haven't did this in a while but for talk the audience me, for the audience listening uh, if you are not and you do listen to this podcast follow us on stupid box podcast anywhere streaming platforms social media platforms and i'm gonna pause right now because my wife is walking in <laughs> yeah i just you know i sometimes i forget to say that i feel like i should remind them we're at where stupid we're box at, podcast and where we are everywhere yes and she's dropping stuff so yeah politicking in the workplace Learn how to do it. Read the room. Learn the rules. Take advice game, from man. your husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on that note. <laughs>